Okay, good morning, boys and girls, or afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make um, your hippo. This is air dry clay that I'm using, and it doesn't require to be fired in a kiln. That means you don't have to bake it in a kiln at like 1,000, 2,000 degrees. So, first, when you get your clay, you're going to form it into a ball like this. And it's going to be about the size of your fist. Your clay is going to be about the same size as your fist, not my fist. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to divide it into two pieces. And I have a bunch of clay tools here. So you're going to take one that looks either like a knife or like this or even like this. And be careful with these because you don't want to break them. And you're just going to divide the clay in half like you're cutting up an orange in half or an apple in half. You're gonna divide it in half like that, so you have two halves. And then I just kinda of get some of this extra clay off my fingers, put it on there. And then you're gonna make that into two balls. And then you're going to do what's called a pinch pot. And um, the pinch pot, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my directions over here, you can't see that. Um, a pinch pot is when you form it into a ball like this. I'm, I'm going to form both of these into a ball. And uh, you can use water with this kind of clay. This is not like the other clay that I sell, which dries really, really fast, and it's difficult for it to use water. You can use water with this. And somewhere, oh, where's my little water pot? Uh, okay, well, I'll just get some water. That looks bad. Hold on just a second. I have a little teeny water pot, but I don't seem to be able to find that right now. So I'm going to get some in this bucket here. Put some water in this bucket so that I have a little bit of water that I can dip into when I need to. So I have a clean bucket and a dirty bucket. And um, well, we have buckets at school. So this is my bucket. You can kind of see it a little bit. I want it kind of out of the picture so that you don't, so you have room to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna roll this into a ball, and then a pinch pot is just what it says. If you pinch, so you're gonna push your thumbs into the middle like this, and kind of go around, and kind of you know just you're pinching and you're pulling like this, pinching and pulling like this, and then you're kind of pinching upward to make your pinch pot. And this is the first way that people ever made pots, is they pinch the clay together. And that's how we're gonna make our hippo. So we don't want it to be too round like that. We don't want it to be, we don't really want it to look quite this um, pointed like a cone. We want it to be more round because this is the going to be the body of the hippo. So again, I'm going to, I want it to be kind of even. So as I'm going around the bottom, I want to kind of even it out because your hippo is going to be hollow in between. So he's kind of rounding out. I'm kind of smashing down the bottom of it so that it's more round and not so pointy on the end. Okay, so now I have that. And this is a pretty good size hippo, by the way. Pretty good size ball. So that's like half of half of um, a circle. So this one, I'm going to roll it in my hands like this until it's kind of roundish. And it has kind of a weird shape, but again, I'm going to stick my thumbs in the middle and turn it sideways, stick my thumbs in the middle, and then now I can start pinching it. And as I'm pinching it, I'm going down a little bit further, and then I'm going around the sides, and as I'm going around the sides, I'm also mushing down the bottom. And I'm pulling it up, pulling it up, all the way around, till it's about the same thickness, all the way around. And 
and then, you know, you can look at it and see. Is it about the right? And you can feel it with your fingers to feel how thick is it. And don't worry about what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so now I have my two pinch pots. Okay, now um, I'm gonna clean my hands off so I can turn the page. And we'll have paper towels and um, we'll also have our rags that, you know, our wash rags that we always use so that you can clean your hands in between steps. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the page to the next decoration. And this part is super, super, super important. If you don't do this part, everything you did will fall apart and your hippo will fall apart. So I'm gonna take the top of my hippo, I'm gonna put my finger in the water and I'm gonna put some water around the edge of my hippo, right here around the edge of the pot, as it were. And then I'm gonna take one of these tools and if you don't have this tool, it's fine. You can use any tool and I'll show you how to do that. I'll use a different tool because I want everybody to know how to do this. You're gonna take it and you're gonna start to score it. So I'm just like making it really rough on the edges. So I'm making that, remember we talked about cross hatch and hatch lines. So I'm making hatch lines in my, this is why we did the elements of art so that you would know when I'm telling you to make a hatch line or a cross hatch line, you would know what I'm telling you to do. So this is your hatch line that we're making on the edge of this. And this is where we're gonna connect these two together to make the hippo's body. Cause the hippo, he's kind of round and, and plump. He's plump. So he has a big round body. So we're gonna do that on this side. And we're also gonna do that on the other side. So I get another, dip my finger in the water one more time and go all the way around. And then again, I'm gonna make my hash marks. Here's my hash marks. And then I'm gonna make my cross hatch marks. Here's my hatch marks and my cross hatch marks. And this is called scoring in clay. When you're making clay, this is called scoring. And so when you score, then this is what you're doing. And so now I'm going to um, put these two things together like this. Squeeze them together. And now I'm gonna take one of my clay tools, any of my clay tools, and I'm gonna squish them so that you don't see where they come together. Just gonna to squish it together. And if I need to dip my tool in water, I'm gonna dip it in water so that it comes together. And it doesn't matter if it's kind of lumpy and bumpy. It's a hippo, hippos are lumpy and bumpy. It's a hippo, they're, they're lumpy, they're bumpy. If it gets like right there where it's a little uneven, I can take maybe one of them and lift that out a little. But I wouldn't worry about it. I don't want you like trying to lift stuff out and do all that kind of stuff. Just smush it in, smash it in, smooth it over. If it's not smoothing real good, then, you know, take a little water and smooth it over. The water really helps to smooth it over. And then you'll have like a nice little ball. Now, why can't we just do like, um, some people might ask how come they can't just make a solid ball. If you put a solid ball in there, number one, it will, when it dries, it'll crack. Okay, as it is, this may crack anyway, but we wanna make sure that we have this nice and smooth. So I'm gonna set this down for a little bit. Set this down for a little bit. You can roll it in your hand really super gently. Super gently, like, like you're just barely touching it. I just wanna get some of that water off. You don't wanna put too much water. If it's like drowning, you've got too much water. If it's super sticky, you've got too much water. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside right there. I'm gonna wash my hands off a little bit. 
and I have like a really small amount of water on my hands. Again, you're not trying to wash your hands at your table. You're just trying to wipe them off and use the rag. So you're gonna, um, you really were supposed to divide your clay into three, but I didn't have enough to do that. So I'm gonna get a little bit more clay so that I have enough to make his head. So I'm gonna get a little bit more clay And I'm gonna roll that in a ball. Let me put my top back on the clay. And then I want to make the hippo's head. His head is kind of like a peanut shape, kind of like a peanut shape. So I'm gonna try and roll it out so it gets a little bit long, not too long. So I want it to be shaped kind of like this. Okay, so here's the shape of his head. It's kind of like a little cylinder. It's kind of cylinder cylindrical. And I'm going to start to smash it down. And one side of his head is going to be like, and one side of his head, I want to flatten it out a little bit. Just a little. And then his nose is going to be really, I'm just going to, just, I had a little dent in there. So now I want to smash his face in just like this. See where I'm smashing it like this? So that's, it starts to look kind of like a peanut. Okay, and then I'm still gonna smash it a little bit more. Smash it a little more. And then I want to really flatten it on the top and the bottom. Okay, because their faces, the bottom of their faces where their nose is, is really kind of squarish. And then their heads are more roundish. So that's why I'm smooshing it right here. Smooshing it right here. Okay. So I'm going to smash it a little so it's a little kind of flat. Okay. And I'm kind of happy with that. That looks kind of like a hippo head. So now to attach it. Sorry, I got stuff under my nails. I really can't stand. I can't stand stuff under my fingernails, guys. Okay. But you can always use that stuff. All right, so now I want to attach his head to his body because this is going to be his body right here. This is his the hippo body. This is the hippo head. You see how that's going to work? So I'll turn it that way so you guys can see. Okay, there's this little hippo head. There's this little hippo body. So in order to do that, I need to score his, his head. So I'm going to put my hash marks, my hatch marks, and my cross hatch marks. Now, why am I only putting them at the top of his head? Because the bottom is going to be off of his body. Only the top is going to be on his body. And then wherever I'm going to put it on his body, I also need to score that part and put my hash marks there too. So wherever, and you don't want to smash this really hard either, by the way. Don't like mash it in. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of water, put it there and a little bit of water and put it here and do you need a lot no you do not need a lot just a little bit and then i'm going to put that on there and i'm going to gently just wiggle that on just gently wiggle it on because i don't want to change the shape of his face the shape of his head but that's going to be sticking on there really good because i have the slip the the water and the clay make what's called slip Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, I have to get a tiny bit more clay for his legs, and I'm gonna get take one of these tools and dig out some clay. You'll have enough clay for this, I promise, because I still have to make his legs, which are cylinders, and his ears, which are you know kind of little little tiny areas. Okay, so let me get some more clay right quick so I have enough. I'm gonna have to keep going back in here. The less I have to open this, the better. Okay, and I don't know if our clay is red or white, but it doesn't matter, because this is gonna get painted anyway. 
Okay. So this is about the size of the ball that the ball you would have. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna make two little snakes of clay for his eyebrows. Or for his ears and his eyebrows. Because we gotta make his ears and then we gotta make his eyebrows. So I'm gonna roll out um, two little pieces to make his ears. Put those two back. So I'm trying to make them about the same size. Mm, I think that's maybe a bit much. So I'm trying to roll a little ball like this in your hand. Okay, and there's one. And there's two. And then I'm going to smash that. Put that one up here. And just make it, you know, kind of ear-shaped. I don't know. Hipples have kind of round ears. I don't know if we... Oh, wait. Don't put it on there yet. Still got to, you know, kind of score it a little bit. You want to score this a little bit on the bottom. Again, if you don't score it, it's going to fall off when it dries. I promise you, it will fall off. And put a little bit of water on there. And then stick that. And then you can shape his ears. Okay, and then let's try this one. Score this one. Oh, and I still have water on my on my tool. On my clay tool, so this is gonna be perfect. There we go. Oh, look at his little ears. Aren't they cute? You're so cute. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of um, smooth that out just a little bit. I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. So his ears are smooth. Okay, so now I'm going to take another little teeny piece. This might be too much too. This is a really, really small piece. Maybe even smaller than the other piece. So I'm going to make his eyebrows because they have lifted up eyebrows. And I want to make those and roll those into a snake. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll those out like this with two fingers. Like this. Back and forth. And you have even pressure. You're not trying to mash it into the, into the dirt out of existence. You just gently mash it. And then this is where any of these clay tools, it doesn't matter which one you can use this one. You just swish it, make sure it's about the same size. And then now you can take it, squeeze it in, and make him an eyebrow. Ooh, that's really big. I think I need to, ooh, half of that maybe. Hmm, that's a big eyebrow. Okay, so let's give him half that size. You don't need that much. Because his eyes aren't that big. So we put one eyebrow over here. That's a cute eyebrow. And we're going to put one eyebrow over here. Okay. And did I score that? No, I did not. See, sometimes I forget myself. It's exciting to work in clay. It really is. So I'm going to make, like, do the tip, any tip. Um, you might want something more pointy than not. But even if you don't, you can use, um, I have some skewers, which I don't have at home. They're what the, you put your shish kebab on. You know, when you get um, barbecue and they have like a bunch of little meat that's on there. So I'm gonna put this, this one on like that. And since this is such a really small piece, because I did, um, I'm hoping that that will stay. Mm, I don't think it's gonna stay. You know, you gotta follow the rule. If you don't follow the rule, going to be a problem later so take my word for it follow the rule you'll be happier okay so there's his other eyebrow and then you're going to give him an eyeball he needs a little eyeball really really tiny eyeball very small okay to go with his eye okay, let me turn my page Let's see what i'm doing here oh actually we're not giving him an eyeball. Oh, we're poking an eye, a hole in his eye. Hmm, weird. Okay. So now we're gonna take the end of any of the clay tools. All the clay tools are about the same on the end. 
they all have this little round part so we're going to dip that in some water and we're going to smooth this out so you want to keep it so that it's smooth because we just want to give him i thought we were giving him an eyeball but apparently we're not i'm looking at my directions okay and then i'm going to turn him over this way because i need to get the back side of him and this is like really small I'm just barely touching this just so I can get a little bit of clay from the back of this eyebrow onto the top. Okay, and then because I guess, you know, they have this kind of um, eyebrow that comes down the side of their face like this. It comes down the side like this. So we want to kind of make it go down the side like this. And then I'm gonna take my finger, a little bit of water. Sometimes your fingers are the best tools in really small spots. You guys have smaller fingers than me, so it might be easier for you to do this than for me. And again, I'm taking a little bit of water. I'm trying to smooth this out a little bit. If yours isn't totally smooth, don't worry about it. It'll still be really cool. And I'm just using just just barely touching this. I mean, seriously, just barely touching it. Third grade, just barely touching it. Or whatever grade is watching this. Okay, so. Now I kind of got it kind of how I want it. Because their eyebrows kind of go down the side of their face. Weird. Hippos are kind of weird. And they gave him a, poke, a poked eye. Like they had... Um, a little hole for his eyes so I'm gonna use this tool because you're gonna get skewers which are gonna be skinny and um, actually I'm just gonna give use a paintbrush and give him a little eye hole like this oh look at him oh he's got a little face oh look at his little face oh oh I love his little face oh he's really cute oh <laughs> Okay, now I gotta give him a little nose. <laughs> and so his little nose is gonna be on the top because remember hippos, they are they live um, under the water a lot of the time. And mostly what you see of them is their nose and their ears and their eyes. And so their nose sticks up and they can breathe up over the water. And they do have like this little ridge on their nose or something. So anyway. This is my little hippo. He's so cute. Oh, look at him. He's very cute. I like him a lot. Okay, so now we have to do um, his... Oh. Let's see. Now we're going to make a tail for him. So I guess we can just use this for his tail. And you have to poke a hole in his bottom. Nobody laugh at that. Okay, I hear you guys laughing. Ha ha, funny, funny. So poke a little hole in his bottom. Nobody make a joke. If you don't, now if we were firing this in the kiln, we couldn't have this whole animal without um, putting a hole in it. Otherwise it would explode in the kiln. So I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker. Um, I'm gonna make my little snake a little thicker. In fact, I'm gonna um, roll this out again. I'm gonna put a little bit of, it's starting to dry out a little. So if your clay starts to feel kind of dry, put a little um, water on it, and then you can rework it. This clay is really forgiving when it comes to that. If you, um, if it starts, now if it's already dry and crumbly and cracky and stuff, then you probably can't do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna give him a little tail. There we go, there's his little tail. Okay, but before I do that, you know, I gotta do the, gotta do the thing. Grab a little water. Add a little marks. They don't say do this, but you know, I'm telling you. Put some little marks around his tail so that, and a little bit of water, so that when you push the tail in, it stays. And I'm twisting it just a little bit. Okay. And lifting it up. 
up. So that's what his tail looks like. Twisting it a little bit. And I'm sorry that this is white and the clay is white, but this is the only paper I had for my, for my studio. So I usually don't have paper in my studio. So now I'm going to set him aside and I'm gonna make his legs. So he needs four legs. So I'm gonna roll out this clay and um, I think that's gonna be too big. Maybe not. I think that's too big. I think his little legs only need to be like big. Let me see. Let me divide this into fours and see how big they can be. Because I want them to be the same size. Let's see if they can get all the same size. I'm gonna make sure all the legs are basically the same size. So you don't have too much in one, not enough in the other. Best way to do that is roll out four balls and then you'll see if the balls are the same size or not. And if one's a little bit bigger, then you can pinch like that one's really bigger. That one's much bigger. So we'll see who needs more, who needs less. Yeah, that's a little bigger. Okay, so that one's the smallest. Let's see which one is the biggest. This one or this one? This one's the biggest. I'm going to take a tiny bit from this one. Add some to this one. Got to do a little multiplication, a little addition and subtraction here. even things out. Okay, now I have my four balls. Now I want to roll them into a cylinder. So I'm just rubbing my hands back and forth like this, back and forth. And then that'll give me my basic cylinder shape. And then if I want to make it a cylinder, I just do that on that side, that on that side, and roll it in with my fingers like this. Roll it with my fingers. And then I get my cylinder. And there's his leg. There you go. That's basically his legs. I'm gonna roll it out so that it's nice and even. And smush it down a little bit. And that's one leg. And I think I'll just roll it out this way so that it's even. It's a little easier if you just roll it out like this. Smush it down on both sides. Then you'll have the four legs and you'll be able to see you know which one is maybe it needs to be rolled out a little bit more which one needs to be rolled out a little bit less and then you can just see you know how the legs might have two that are shorter in the front two that are taller in the back I don't know we'll see Hmm, that one is definitely needs to be have more clay, I think. This one seems to be the smallest one, wow. Okay, so since I can see that this is smaller, I can add a little bit of this clay to this one. Because I can see that that's like way too small. So I'm gonna roll that out again, let's try it again. I can see. Well, hmm. we'll see what's happening. That seems okay. See, this one seemed to be the smallest one out of the whole one, out of all of them. Let's see if we can get him in, up to speed. Okay, yeah. I think that's okay. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to make his little legs. I'm going to score his legs. Make my hash marks, hatch marks. Make my cross hatch marks. I'm gonna do that on all his legs. Hatch marks, cross hatch marks. And hopefully they're all just about the same size. And to make sure, you know, I can just do like this. Hatch marks, cross hatch marks. marks, cross hatch marks, set that one up, okay, so 
So now all the little waves should be about the same. So, and since he's been sitting here, he's gotten a little flatter on the bottom and I can just rock him gently to make him more flat on the bottom. And you see he's more flat on the bottom. So now I'm gonna kind of put where I want his legs to be. And then that shows me where I need to make my hatch marks. So I'm gonna make my little hatch marks here. And make another one here. I'm just gonna do like one at a time. And then that way, put my water on there. That way I won't get like all jacked up. And so I'm just gonna slowly twist push and twist really, really gently, super gentle. My water. And then for this one, I'm just gonna slowly, slowly twist, like I'm turning the cap on a bottle, super gentle. Okay, and then for this one, and then I will like take some, take some, um, take one of these, um, Take the end of one of these and go over it some more. But let's get these other legs on. Hopefully that's the right place. I didn't check to see. I'm thinking that's gonna be okay. So yeah. Okay. Some water. twist, little twisty action. Okay, and a little twist in here. His legs are really close together. Uh-oh, and he's not sticking, he's not sticking very good. And give him a little bit of room in here, in here. and a little more water. If you feel like it's not quite Sticking, you might want to add some more water to it. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to take any side. I'm going to take this one, add some water to it, and just see if I can pull some of that, pull some of that down. Most of these um, clay tools are curved. So wherever you have a curve like that, I don't really like that curve right there. Um, so maybe this one might be better. See if I can get in there. And then you got some real tight little spaces in here, so I wouldn't really try to worry about that stuff inside. But that water getting in there is gonna help seal it. Whenever you put that little bit of water in there, it's gonna help seal it. That water comes in and it's like, oh yeah, I know what to do. I'm going to seal this right in here. And you can just grab some of that clay, just a tiny amount. You don't need a lot. And that helps seal that too. Okay, and then, uh oh, see, I squeeze too hard and he's cracking. Uh oh. Don't squeeze him too hard or he'll crack. Uh oh, poor baby. I squeeze my hip up. You gotta be extra gentle and extra careful with him. He's just full of air and he's, you know, this clay. See, and I can see his little tail is cracking too. Okay, it's about time to put him down and be done with him. Cause I can see I'm like, I got too much pressure on him right now. I don't want all these little parts to come off. I'll be really unhappy. I really like him. He's really cute. So I'm going to set him on his little parts and call him done. And hopefully he'll be good to go. And the next time you guys see him, it'll be in class. And then you'll see him, you'll see me paint him. Okay, so he's done. And um, I'm just going to clean him up. I'm going to take a sponge like this and smooth them out. And that's what you can do to smooth them out if you want to smooth them out. If you don't like, if you have like fingernail marks or something like that, you can take a sponge 
in really gently. It's a little bit wet. It just needs to be damp. It doesn't need to be wet. It just needs to be damp. So smooth out any of the marks that you have on there. And just be super, super careful. I mean, touching super, super gentle, like, like it was a real thin eggshell that you're scared to break. Mommy's special, you know, anything. Anything of mommy's that she said you could touch, but don't break. Okay? Or grandma's. You know, grandma's are real particular about things. But... So, that's, I'm going to call that done. Because really, I could use this for all of this part in between here. But I, he's like, he needs to rest. He needs to rest. So I wouldn't worry about anything like fingerprints or anything like that, because guess what's going to happen? We're going to paint this. Oh, sorry. Let, let me let you see him like that. He's so cute. He's so cute. Isn't he a cutie? He's very cute. So that's what he looks like from the side. And that's what he looks like from the back. Okay. Because this is a form, it's three-dimensional, and that's that's how you make it okay so 36 minutes I don't think that's that's bad and then the next time we'll we'll paint him okay so I'll see you guys in class bye